exertionotomy um, and capsulotomy. It's a procedure that we're going to do on her third toe to do a couple of things. Number one, it's no longer going to let the toe bend over. That is going to reduce a callus on the very tip of it. It's also going to reduce trauma to the nail. She has both thickening of the nail with some bruising underneath it as well as the callus. Letting either one of those go can really lead to long-term issues. If you have a callus on the tip of the toe, you can get a wound underneath it. That can lead to a bone infection and then actually an amputation of the toe. Same thing with blood underneath the nail. It can continue pressure to the area, can rub a blister under there, and that can lead to an infection and amputation. Most things we do here are really geared at keeping all of your toes attached to you. That way we don't have to do amputations and other things like that in the future. All right, we're going to spray some cold stuff at the bottom of your toe. It's going to help you to not feel that poke. Put a little bit more numbing medicine in. Gosh knows, we don't need you filling this procedure. One down, one to go. Sweetheart, we're going to let you sit here for just a couple of minutes. Um, you're going to get really good numb. The girls will go over the procedure with you. They'll set everything up. And as soon as you are good and ready, I will be back. Put some Betadine on this toe. Clean it off really good. I'm going to touch you with a sharp blade just to make sure you can't feel me, okay? This is a 62 blade. It's called a beaver blade, and so it's straight across. The cutting surface is all across the top. Alright, you're slippery now. Alright, can you feel that? Perfect. You're going to feel some pressure, you may feel some pulling, but you won't feel anything sharp, okay? So the way we do this is we go in vertically. Once I'm inside the skin, I will move the blade horizontally in both directions. That will allow my skin edges to come together without the need for a stitch. Alright. You are going to bleed. Yeah. You hear that? Sounds like celery. Okay. So we're cutting through the tendon. We're into the joint capsule. And that really so good. Okay. What I want you to try to do for me is bend your toes. There we go. Good. I felt it pull up the minute I stuck it in there. So that's good. We're going to go back and double check. Just to make sure we got all of it. A few little fibers there we didn't get. And there. Perfect. Alright, and that's it. Easy enough, right? Okay, try to bend your toes one more time for me. Perfect. Now, what we want to do is splint this. It's just love, isn't it? it is. Yeah. Listen, when you come back, you won't believe the difference. It. Um, okay, we're going to splint it in a way that um, it's going to hold that toe down so it can heal in the position we want it to heal in, okay? Alright, so Terry's got me a saline moistened gauze. <coughs> Perfect. We're going to fold this and kind of create a little splint. There we go. Okay, this one wraps around. Perfect. It's going to be real painful when the numbness goes out. Usually not. I've given pain pills for only one person in the six, eight years I've been doing these. So usually no ma'am. Um, it's going to ache a little bit. It can burn or sting. Sometimes the dressing ends up being a little yeah. bit too tight because we want to squeeze it to try to make sure it doesn't... I guess I can stand it. I'll stand it on the paint so far. Right. I just have to get off my feet and get turned real bad. Exactly. That is good. I mean, you did just have surgery. I cut your tendon. I went into your joint. So I don't want you up, like, exercising and running a marathon. But if you need to do household stuff, by all means, you go for it, Okay. If, yes, in this shoe. If it starts to hurt, that is your body's way of telling you to get off of it. Yeah. Okay? Um, 
ibuprofen, Tylenol medicines like that for pain. You can put some ice on top of your ankle. That will help with the Tylenol. You can take Tylenol. Take just Tylenol. Yeah. Okay. So if you can't take ibuprofen, then Tylenol is perfect. There's that. Yeah, no, that will warm you up, won't it? Alright, so one final step. Now, this sometimes becomes tight. If you were to have to take this off, then by all means you can do that. I don't want you to not sleep at night because this bandage is too tight, okay? If you can take it off, is it? This bandage and loosen it. Only this outer ace wrap. Everything else you leave alone because yeah, I just have a wrap. Right, Correct. I have everything else in there the way that I need it to get this to heal in the proper position. Alright, and that's that. So what happens?